but at the moment, Coyote Belly matched up against Michelle Perez. Those two have just paddled out into the lineup with 42 minutes on the clock. So they're the fresh heat in the water. That first or second position getting into the round of 32. We're watching a replay here of the first wave of Michelle Perez. Bit of froth on the face, but he had some open face, and that's why he chose this wave. And look how powerful, just the slip off the tail. But we'll get back to Kaipo in just a moment. And Kelly, quick in and out there from Coyote Belly. So current situation, Michelle Perez sitting with a four-point ride for his opener. Coyote Belly now with a score to come through. So maybe not initially what he was looking to do, Pete, but at least he's got some space now, a little room to breathe with the last 11 minutes on the clock. Big blast out the back for Michelle Perez. Sticks the first turn, comes in for the second one. Foam climb over the back of that wave as it flattens out. And then Michelle, bigger wave. Powerful first snap. Glides over that next section, which is beautiful combo. Take a look at this. On the backhand here. Kaiwa Belly. Beautiful little whip. Thanks so much. And always great to hear those shaper surfer relationships. Shaper on the road as we see Michelle Perez. And for the radio to radio to be more sensible and more easy, you know. And uh, Gabriel, before he was using more radio, now we are working more on this. All right. Well, thanks for the information. Great to meet you. And thanks for coming out and having a word with us. Thank you. And uh, these guys have been pushing each other for a long time. And it's good to see them all in one event. Yeah, it's really exciting, and you know, Miguel spent so much time on the qualifying series this year, surfing events all around the world. I'm sure he's hardly spent any time sleeping in his own bed. He does have a huge requirement, though, on Miguel Blanco, a 9.34. As we see live action from Michelle Perez, the Tahitian quick in and out, nice blast out the back. And that, you know, hearing that from his shaper shows that those conversations are happening, where Gabriel's questioning what can he do to improve his surfing. As we see... Kaui Belly straight into the pocket, connects through for a second turn, unable to ride out clean. And Michelle Perez now up and riding on his backhand, attacks on the first turn, finds a nice critical section on the inside in the froth, goes down. He's looking to build on his scoreline. He's already got a 6.17 and a 5.07 to his name so far. You can still see there's so much water moving. That tide has shifted and it's now pushing up as we see Kai Belly just go over the handlebars. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. He looked like he was looking down the line, not paying attention to right in front of him. So you see these kind of waves, and you just want to throw them tens because they're so beautiful to watch. Gaining some speed and momentum down the line, Michelle Perez. Just me enjoying my time with my family here, uh, not putting pressure on myself. And uh, as I said in the interview before, I just feel like I've been doing this for years, you know, and. Uh, it's good to, to get like this uh, mature. You get nights all season long, you're going to be competing year in and year out. Of course, uh, he wants some wins. He wants quarter semis and finals. But yeah, he's very consistent getting into that round. And Kaiwi Belly having a strong attack on his backhand, unfortunately goes down. It's, you're just so happy on tour. And Michelle, two turns connected together to start off with. He's going to kick out the back, staying strong been at it for a long time finding new motivations you know he's one of those guys that is so consistent as you can watch right here he hasn't changed uh, boards too much you know he's been riding the firewire model when he's carrying rhythm right he's just come off a win and that final day he was the, the most in tune surfer Kaiwi belly going to town connecting a second turn together in a foam climb to finish off on he's chasing a 5.58 to take the lead away from michelle Brett. oh sorry yeah. no, no, just no. after this replay we'll get through this replay right here with Kaio because uh, you know, he's having fun out there. Great view of him hitting three times off the corner here and uh, finding a nice little flow. You know, that speed in transition coming out of that turn was really hard to do that. Owen Wright coming up next against Jesse Mendez and Kaiwi Belly on another racer down the line. That wave doesn't stand up for him. Could see another appearance from her on the CT come next year if she does well at the end of the year. As we see Michelle Perez blast the fins out the back, connects through. The bunny hop to gain some speed and momentum to put on that finishing turn. A lot of those combinations today are coming from those double up sections. And I don't feel like this one's going to change much for Michelle. You know, again, the, 
combination major moves, you want to see those maneuvers be connected together. Bottom turn to top turn. This one disconnected because the wave actually disconnected. It was nice work to get over that section, and it was a good maneuver. I just can't believe how many waves these guys get in their heats. I mean, we're talking <laughs> over over 10, 13, 14, 15 waves. It's just so fun to see. And look, they're not done yet in this heat. Uh, Kyle's still just hammering it into his third turn down the line. Feeling... Uh, Hopefully some motivation coming out of that one with a, with scores to improve on to put some pressure on Michelle Perez. I think but it's just his backhand, right? I, I don't know, see it really going any better than the the five six seven. But I was I'm impressed. I love the way he surfed. Kai Belly with 14 waves to his name so far. So many waves ridden. Michelle Perez pulling the trigger in priority. Whoa. Goes massive into the air. Lands clean. What can he do to finish off with? Puts on the finishing touch, beats the chest, he's feeling it. It's going to be fun to watch this replay because we're going to get a true look at it, right? Bingo, grabs, double grab, kind of soft landing, and then goes to smash it on the end, pushes through. He thinks he got Casing it. Casing a 6.8 strider. I love it. I I think that that was really fun to watch. 6.8. Uh, so coming down to the last 30 seconds, Kylie Belly still in the lineup. Michelle Perez frustrated to finish out. But Kyle Whoa. goes massive. <laughs> oh, I don't think he saw that the rotation was going to bring him right there. I think that's something that you can take into consideration is Jeremy 7.5, very beginning of the heat. You talk about applying pressure to your uh, competitor. At that point, all of a sudden, he realizes that he needs a certain wave to match that score. And that's why he all of a sudden goes quiet because he's waiting for a long time. And Kylie Belly advancing through into the round of 16.